It could happen at any checkout machine, at any store. Credit card skimmers are being installed in more places than ever before. And getting back the money you've lost is not always guaranteed. Nicole Nielsen met a North Texas couple who learned that lesson the hard way. Kelsey DeKaiser had barely returned home from shopping when she got the fraud alert. She worked fast. In a matter of minutes, she was on the phone with her bank. But as it turned out, the crooks worked faster. I just felt horrible. I felt like I'd messed up so bad. I've never been that stressed out in my life. $6,500 gone in what seemed like an instant. Alex and Kelsey DeKaiser filed a fraud report with Wells Fargo. But 10 days later, the bank ruled against them, claiming the chip in the card couldn't have been duplicated. She told them that she had still it. had the chip card. She had not lost it, and it wasn't stolen. And I, and I told them that I had never given my pen to anybody. And so for those reasons, you know, it must have been my card, they said. Kelsey believed the card was skimmed while she was out shopping. The couple appealed, but that too was denied. She said, but our investigation is done. We can't, we can't reopen it. That's our final decision. We are having some banks that are holding people accountable if their PIN number is used. McKinney Police Sergeant Tina Malenfant says that accountability often starts at the ATM or checkout. You need to assume there's a skimmer every time. In order to keep from being a victim, we have to start being smarter than the bad guys. That means testing the machine before you put in your card. We have to start trying to pull the little devices off. We have to start trying to see if it pops off because it's all on there by, with double-sided tape. I do it myself. I walk up, I look at it. If it looks weird, then I won't use that machine or I'll go up and I'll try to pull on I'll try to pull on it and stay on top of your accounts. Go through your transactions every day or two to see if anything stands out. That's how a McKinney woman found the device that stole her information. I was just trying to get chips and a bottle of water. Nija Rattler says she was charged nearly a thousand dollars for that snack. So she went back to the 7-Eleven on Medical Center Drive. I'm like, hey, something happened with my car. Let me check the machine and see something. And I just literally lifted it up and it was there. Police say while finding the skimmer isn't always easy, tracking down the criminals is nearly impossible. I do think it's going to get worse because they figured out a way to not get caught. That's because skimmed information can be put on a clone card and used anywhere in the world. So the bad guys can spend your money even while your card is safe inside your wallet. And now those criminals have figured out a way to steal your tax dollars, all through the debit cards issued by the Texas Health and Human Services Department. Now we're seeing scammers going after EBT cards. Electronic benefit transfer, or EBT cards, are used by millions of Texans to help pay for food. Consumer advocate John Breo says EBT cards are too easy to hack. EBT cards are stuck in the dark ages when it comes to technology. They are still reliant on that outdated MagStripe technology, which frankly uh, is uh, over 40 years old at this point. It's hopelessly insecure. This is the first year that skimmers have hit EBT cards here in Texas. So far, the state has received more than 100 reports. Money meant to put food on the table for the month, gone in a moment. And Texas does not replace those dollars. Consumers just don't have the same rights. Uh, when it comes to misuse of their EBT cards the way they do when their debit or credit card gets misused. Brio says when it comes to regular debit and credit, like in the DeKaiser's case, the law is clear. Banks are required under federal law uh, to make you whole when there is fraud. It's unbelievable how much, uh, how much we had to fight for our own money. Oh, you're talking multiple hours a day, five, six days a week of just calling in, researching, calling in. He says when Wells Fargo stopped listening, he contacted us. And I told him that I was doing an interview uh, with y'all, and um, I think that finally got him, <laughs> got them, their attention. The day before our interview, the bank agreed to replace the $6,500 stolen out of their account. In a statement to CBS 11, Wells Fargo told us we were able to reimburse the customer for the money scammers took based on additional information that we found. We regret the inconvenience and stress our customer encountered before then. One more piece of advice about using debit cards. When it comes to ATMs, experts say you should try to use the indoor machine instead of the drive through And always, every time, no matter what, cover your fingers when entering your pin. Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News.